Hello, my name is Grant Kirkman. I thought I'd do an update video just because I've got so many question, um, comments on my YouTube video of people saying many different things of how they're not coping, how some people are coping more these days and everything. So I thought I'd give you an update about what's happened to me in my life and where I am now. Um, first things first, I don't have most of my floaters anymore. Um, I have about four left. I've had both surgeries and both eyes. Um, I had my right one done in July 2015 and I had my left one done in October 2016. And the first thing I feel like I have to say is, this is probably the most important thing I have to say is, if, how can I put it, if you can cope, basically, if you're still working, if, if you're still happy, and you're and you're working and you're living your life and you're getting on with your life and they're more of an annoyance than a feeling of disability now you could categorize, categorize it as a disability but is that your psychological health is your psychological are you happy as a person even if these floaters weren't there that's a very important thing i think i have to start with because when I had floaters, I had loads and loads of floaters, and for me personally, I believe that it was the right decision. Um, but I think that, for me personally, it was a ridiculously invasive surgery. Um, I have multiple problems in surgery now, in both eyes. Um, I worry every day that, you know, well, not every, well yeah, the, every day there's something with my eyes since surgery. Um... Another thing I would say is if you are going to go for surgery, I would go on a detox personally. I would, not, maybe not a detox, but I'd eat healthy. I'd drink lots of water. I'd get healthy the months or years before having surgery. Um, because I think having a healthy body really makes a difference on your eyes and how they can cope. Because I've noticed, because I've had two now, I've noticed that the recovery stage, um, your body really goes for it you know it really feel that you know it's really trying to fix you and if you're healthy inside that will really benefit it getting better and being fully recovered than semi like i personally think mine is um so what happened is my right eye uh went went successfully i was left with th thrill and when i first immediately got through i think i said this in my other video but when i was left thrill um i was awfully upset and I wanted it get, to get rid of. Now I realise that the difference between floaters and thrill are a huge difference and I think my psychological health wasn't as up, um, I wasn't as strong in some respects than I am now to cope with thrill and I'm, I'm going to keep my thrill. Well, sounds weird. I'm going, not like that, but you know, I'm not going to go have surgery to get rid of the thrill because it's in my peripheral. I know it's horrible, um, but that's how I psychologically view it. The reason I got rid of floaters is because they were actually debilitating me it, to the point of when I was walking down the street, I wasn't able to see properly. If I was reading, it would go over my vision when I was reading. It was actually creating name, those type of problems, right? So I'm going to keep, the, I will kill the fro keep the frill. Um, in my left eye, uh, I had two retinal tears. Um, which he said were well, fine, you know, everything's fine. Um, I went through the recovery stage um, and I have scotomas now, which are holes in my vision. Uh, and I have constant, um, constant, 24-7 flashing lights in my left eye. Constant, uh, constant lightning in my eye, in the peripheral vision going nuts, right? Uh, that I take gabapentin since operation for, which is a neurological um, tablet that makes me very tired, gives me insomnia, um, makes my, you know, does some strange things to my body, which, um, you know, I, I wouldn't want, and I don't want, but, you know, I was very un unwell when I first got out of the surgery. I was very... Uh, the scotomas I couldn't get used to, and the flashing lights, any light going into my eye I couldn't cope with. It literally would feel like somebody was stabbing me and there would be flashing lights. 
And these are things you really have to think about. And I know what I was like. If I saw a video like this and I saw somebody saying what I'm saying, I'd go, that ain't, not even that's not going to happen to me. I would just be like, but I have to. And instead of having a stop, think, refresh everything that I thought, I know that I have to, I understand, you know, I have to, but refresh everything I thought and actually listen to what the person's saying. Evaluate it. Really evaluate if you need this. You're having an operation on your eyes. And you might be young like me. I'm only 22. And who knows how long my eyes are going to last now, right? And, you know, things like that. So that's a really important thing I'd have to say as well. Um, if you feel depressed and if you have anxiety um, because of the floaters, I really would first, if, if hope, you know, if hopefully you have money, but get the money. I, you know, I, I didn't have any money and I found money. You know, I, I think, you know, have your entrepreneur mind going when you need to fix yourself, fix your health and want to be alive. You have to really figure out how you're going to do it, right? So uh, go get psychological help. See if that helps first. Go see if going to talk to a counsellor helps you first. Because if it does, you will be much more happy. I know it's hard to say that you'll be happy and I'm really sorry to say it, but I'm, I've been through it and I understand. You know, I have about four floaters, five floaters left and thrill, scotoma, flashing lights, you know, I'm not fully okay after the surgery, right? But I think, for instance, if I had this psychological, well, it's just made me grow what's happened to me. And I think that if I had this mental state when I had them, I would still have the surgery. But I would definitely have changed how I went about it. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, what else could I say? Thank you all for your comments. Um, it's weird to see comments, you know. And I understand how much you might, all a lot of you must be in pain. I really appreciate how much you must be in pain. And I'm really sorry that you're in pain. I'm really sorry. But seriously... We live on a bloody... We live on a bull. Just... I know it's... I'm going to sound crazy now, but... We live on a bull. In infinite space. We might... I can't say, but... You know, easily we might only live one time. One speck of this reality is ours, right? You have to really think about what you're doing. You have to really think if this is good. And this is right for you. Um... I've got comments that say you will get used to it, you know, and things like that, um, which personally I don't couldn't see how I could have got used to it. Like I said, it got to the point of a disability, but when I first got flows, I had about 20 each in the first, like, month. You know, that wasn't necessarily debilitating. That was just an extreme... It made, you know, my, my psychological health awful, but there are people out there. There's 7.8 billion people on this earth. There are people out there... That if they were me getting the same thing, they would be fine. So that means I wasn't debilitated yet. 